This is an ABC 10 News update. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt in the ABC 10 News studio. Portable air conditioners are starting to arrive at two North County schools, which had to let students out early because their HVAC broke down. ABC 10 News was at Rancho Bernardo High last week when students got out two and a half hours early. Bernardo Heights Middle School is also getting out early. The district tells us they're bringing in as many portable ACs as they can. The first arrived Monday Day. However, early dismissals will continue through at least Wednesday. A South Bay man accused of murdering his wife was back in court Monday. Maya Miliete hasn't been seen since January of 2021. And Larry is accused of killing her and hiding her body that still hasn't been found. Monday was a scheduled mental competency hearing. However, doctors are asking for more time, so the judge rescheduled for late September. You can still have a few more days to donate to our If You Give a Child a Book campaign. ABC 10 News and North Island Credit Union are teaming up to provide free books to local school children. Every $5 you donate buys one book for a child in need. You can give now at 10news.com or text IMAGINE to 50155. Meteorologist Megan Perry is watching this heat up. It's going to last all week. That's right. It's a long duration heat wave, so we're going to be starting it tomorrow. As you can see why temperatures are going to be soaring into the 90s for our inland and mountain areas. Right at the immediate coast, we're going to be anywhere from about 76 to 82 degrees, so a lot more comfortable right at the beaches, but just a few miles inland, we will see those 90s, and we're close to 115 in the deserts. Temperatures trending 5 to 15 degrees above normal with an excessive heat warning effect tomorrow through Monday. Humidity will also rise this weekend.